okay uh, today I'm going to go through a short video on how to check for interaction terms in a logistic regression uh, first of all uh, interaction terms these are effect modifiers that means they change the, the effect of, uh, of uh, a factor on an outcome I'll give you an example we are going to use this data set and uh, let's say that uh, that uh, our outcome is a uh, car type and we are going to look at the factors associated with people selecting the foreign car type so and these are our variables the price the, uh, the repair record weight uh, mileage per gallon and those are our factors so we want to look at uh, if any of these are the interaction maybe interaction between weight and the trunk space uh, is that there's an interaction between weight and, and trunk space that affects uh, someone to choose the foreign car type first of all this is a uh, is zero and one which is a binary outcome we use a logistic regression so it's a logistic outcome so let's first go through maybe bit of some variables to see which variables to take into into the multivariate analysis so don't, don't worry this is not a, this is just for examples for an example wait displacement uh, yeah uh, as you can see all these uh, have uh, uh, p-values except this one p-values of uh, less than uh, 0 0.02 we can put a cutoff of 0 0.02 so I'm assuming you have done all of that and you know it so let's look at uh, logistic So which ones have come out? Length. Yeah. We have GR ratio. Then we have uh, what else? MPG. So if uh, okay, when we okay, if we have uh, a main predictor, we we we. we only create uh, interaction terms with that main predictor if we say that uh, our main predictor is GR ratio we do interaction terms only with GR ratio but for this case we don't have a main predictor so we shall do an interaction term between only the significant factors and this is the MPG and GR ratio they are only significant factors uh, before we proceed, uh, we do what we call a chunk test. Uh, the chunk test is a chi-square test with a null hypothesis that uh, there are no significant interaction terms within our model. So that means we shall store estimates of uh, this model without uh, interaction terms and a model with interaction terms to see if uh, our chunk when we do a chunk test to see if uh, the interaction term is significant so you can do a chunk test when you have many variables which you are going to do interaction terms on but uh, to demonstrate our store estimates estimates store i hope this is the command store uh, this is called a reduced model because it has no interaction terms yeah estimates have been stored so we are going to create an interaction term between GR ratio and MPG so we can call it MPG 
GR ratio GR ratio which is equal to an interaction term you just multiply MPG times whether categorical or what you just multiply MPG times GR ratio okay 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 sorry sorry so I have to generate a variable I missed the generation command so we have generated an interaction term of MPG and GR ratio so if we include this interaction term into our model uh, we, we already see that the interaction term is not significant but now I'm demonstrating the chunk test so this we, we may be having several interaction terms so I'm demonstrating the chunk test to show if there are any significant interaction terms so I will store this as estimate store the full model oh sorry estimate store uh, mind about the spellings eh? Uh, estimates yeah okay uh, this was the wrong spelling this may store full model so after you've stored these two estimates for reduced model and uh, a full model a full model that's the one with an interaction term uh, a reduced model is one without an interaction term and uh, there is another way how you can uh, write an interaction term which is uh, using a hash so you can say interaction between mpg hash gr ratio that also represents an interaction term the hash so so you, you see that uh, the factor here uh, may not have certain integer values i'll show you how to clear that if you get that so first of all we code book uh, the GR ratio uh, okay it is a float so a float may not uh, allow to to be for a hash to be used so if it was uh, an integer then we can use the hash so a float means it, it has decimal places you see uh, if we, we we can see that the 10 percent 2.43 if we browse the GR ratio, it is a ratio. So that means it has points. It's a float. Okay. So we can go through the post -est estimation statistics. Post estimation. I'll show you the command also. So post estimation is down, 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 down. Yeah the post estimation so we are looking for for tests and contrasts eh? test and contrast of margin contrast linear parameter of linear test of parameters likelihood test, uh, ratio to test uh, comparing models you see there are several comparisons so and contrasts contrasts of margin we can use this contrast of margin if you want to look at aic and bic's so let's look at uh, the the likelihood uh, ratio for comparing models which one is a better model so the full model versus the reduced model so display the statistics so also display the descriptives so okay so when we 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 use this uh this is the command lr test the likelihood ratio test between a full model and a reduced model so we can see that uh, the chi square is not the probability the probability of a chi square is not significant it means uh, there are no significant interaction terms and we see that uh, we also just saw that the interaction term we, 
we had is not significant so this just justifies that uh, our chunk test is is correct uh, if uh, we also go ahead and use the AIC and BIC normally we take the one with uh, a few with a few numbers you can see this one has 43 here 57 we shall go with the lower one with the lower BIC which is 56 this shows us that the reduced model is a better model for this uh, for this analysis so that's how we check for interaction terms and uh, thanks for watching if you have any questions you can put them in a comment and I will answer you uh, interaction terms remember if an interaction term is significant that means the factors have to stay in the model the factors that make up an interaction term have to stay in the model even if they were not significant if an interaction term is significant it means the factors that make up the interaction term have to be in the model so if this was significant it means mpg even if it's not significant and gr ratio had to remain in the model until the end so we can't have an interaction term without its main terms that's a rule remember that all right see you in the next video